Rocky, what kind of castles do we get for you? Red bird! Yay! He aired out his way! <laughs> He's so cute. Hello, my fellow sniffers, flighters, and hatchlings. Yes, I am in Home Depot. What do you think of my mask, by the way? Oh, look at that cutie. That's my Picasso. And who is this? Rocky. Where's Rocky? Here's Rocky. Rocky, you want to sit there? Today, we're at Home Depot because so many of you are asking us, how did we build that stand? Well, of course, George built it. So today... Nobody we're told me that they were interested in that thing. Well, you don't read the comments? Why don't you have this beautiful mask, George? Because nobody decided to give the actual employees <laughs> we wait for everyone else to get them and then and then everyone can have them. Apparently we don't deserve to have our own mess. I have one. But anyway, I don't have the other one. I wanted one. You'll get one. You guys can get it at parastation.com. But today we're shopping with Rocky to build him a new stand. So Rocky, you want to go choose your stuff for your new stand? Some wood? He's like, stop bothering me. I'm trying to work here. Yeah. Okay, Rocky. <laughs> You like that, buddy? Nice. Thank you. See, he thinks you're nice. He doesn't know. <laughs> he doesn't know any better. <laughs> Do you know where to get the stuff? Yes. We're uh, plumbing. Plumbing? Yeah. It's kind of funny. Mm. Uh oh. That's what I said. It might be tough with Rocky. Okay, I'll stand here. You get the parts. Me and Rocky are waiting. Cause there's a a lot of people in the aisle. So we're just gonna wait right here. And then. Did you hear that? We're just gonna wait right here and George is gonna bring the parts so that we don't have to take the bus to get through this line. Right, Rocky? Yeah, he's excited. Get my nails with Rocky's feathers. You gotta get him some bowls. His bowls are tubes? Your bowls are tubes, Rocky. These are your size, right, buddy? You look like that. How did you get it to stick? That's what these are for. Do you put a hole in it? No, baby, we, we screwed these in. Who's we? I mean, I. Of course. <laughs> Me and Rocky, we did it together. You and Rocky? And the tube that I got. I know it was a pretty thick tube. Rocky, don't be scared of this tube. Do you need that entire tube? No, but I think I might have one. So I'm not gonna get it right now, just so that way, because I'm not gonna have extra stuff. When I made Rocky's thing, I actually had to cut this in half or even less. So I think I have an extra one of these. I'm not gonna buy this today and just include that to the price today so we know what the cost is. So it's $14, let's say, right? Okay. Why do you use that? So you, they can't climb down. Oh. I'm gonna explain the material so that way I don't have to explain it over and over again with every one that I get. We're gonna do black steel. Black steel is the raw form of like iron. Everything is based on black steel. This is a pole, 48 inch, and it's a half inch size, meaning it's the size of the actual diameter is a half inch. Everything here is gonna be a half inch. It saves us money. So this one's a 48 inch. This makes the stand. It makes it so that way it's this height. Then we have an 18 inch and another 18 inch, which will make the, st the place where he stands on. So that's gonna go over here like this. Then we have our poles that will hold the bowls. Oh. Each one of these is a 10 inch. And then of course, for all these things to work together, we have to connect them, right? So we need two 90s, which will basically be the two sides to make this work. So these two 90s are the same steel, you want to keep everything consistent, all the same. What's the name of it? Black steel. It's a hook, it's a... 90. That's just the name of it? It's a 90 elbow. Well, elbow might be more clarification. I don't know what a 90 is. Okay, so you got a 90, you got a T. You want to explain what a T is too? Yeah. So a T is what it says. It's a half inch T. And then these brackets is what makes you change the medium from the pipe to either wood or plastic. Okay. We get four of these because we need only three. 
but because you get them in twos, it saves you money. Now, the bowls, one of these goes to each bowl. This is how you are able to screw the bowl in. What is the bowl? It's a plastic PVC, the black plastic. It's a cap? It's a cap, yeah. It's a four inch cap. Cool. And then we need a base, which we'll do with wood. And then we need to get wheels. Let's go do that. So I think I did something like this. this Where is that inch. for? You can't hold on to this. The whole idea was that you can't... I thought this was on the base. This goes this on top of this. So what I do is I cut them to match this. So that way, because I don't like to have this available for him to get on. I put it in. So the two inches is what I got. So you can either buy one pipe for cheaper than buying two separate ones like this. These are like two by twos. And they go for 336. It's probably cheaper just to do this because you don't need all of it. Unless you're making a bunch of them. Who knows? Also, the wood that I got for the base is a cheap solution because it's actually something that's pre-made here and it's designed for something else completely. It isn't the whole base. We came up with a new base afterwards, which was the pool. How much is the pool? 10 bucks. 10 bucks. So instead of having to spend money on wood and building a whole base, yeah. we get a circular base that is cheap. Yeah. And then we add the pool on top of it, All which right, catches everything. By the way, if some girl was watching this, like a handy girl, not one like me. But like she didn't know stuff and you're like, it's a 90 and she had to go into home goods and say, I need a 90. Do you think someone's gonna be like- well, I'll put all the stuff on the list. Oh, will you? Better get me that list then. Oh. You see this is ready to go. It's already got the shape and everything. Yeah. It's How a much is it? $10. No way. That's it. Rocky, what kind of castles do we get for you? Now I do have some casters at home. Casters are expensive. That's the one thing that really gets expensive. Each and every one of them, if you get good wheels, it rolls better. It's very important to have good wheels. And the other piece that we're not gonna get today is the wood that is the replacement wood. Why? Because it's, it's, it's large and we don't have the car for it. We're talking about a long stick. Why do you need it? You could cut it. I'm not gonna cut it right now. Why? How are we gonna do the rest of the video if you don't have the wood? I'm not building it right now. No, but when you build it, you're gonna when I build it, I'll have the wood. They're looking for part two to be soon, not to be like in a month. I didn't say it was gonna be in a month. When's it gonna be? This weekend. Oh good. So get the wood. I'll get the wood later. You want casters that are low to the ground and that have a rubbery feel to them because then they don't get stuck really easily on things. Because of the base being so like small, you want the wheels to not be too big. So that way it's not top heavy, okay? Because then it will flip over. These are the ones that we use. Okay. So you see these? Yeah. They spin all directions and there's screw holes. How many do we need? Four. Ten dollars a piece. Ten forty. This is where the money gets into like high end. High end wheels. You do the upgrades on your rims. <laughs> Rocky, we got the wheels. With uh, white lining uh, or gray lining uh, rims. Look at that. With the uh, tires. Look at that. You like it? Yeah, I thought so. While we're this here, piece. I thought I'd show you that George often takes the wheels off our cage. You know how cages come with those small little wheels? Especially our big cages, and he replaces them with wheels like this. So it's easier to roll the cage in and outside. If I had tires on him where they can actually have a little bit of air, that would make him even better because they're like kind of rough terrain kind of situation and they could just... Oh, where do you think you're rolling these well, cages? Well, because we go over like bumps and stuff. So if it's right, <laughs> if you got... No, I'm serious. If you have like like actual tires, I, I just couldn't find anything like that. So the rubber works, but if you can find them with tires and actually make it work with tires, it's even better. Okay, like a stroller wheel. Yes. I shove these nuts into the post and I basically make it so that way the the screw it just screws into it. So okay. it just fits right into it and it just screws in. Look guys, we found What's some sniffers. What's your name? Ashley, Ashley and nice meeting you guys. Brian. Look at her, she's all like hiding behind her mom. She's so embarrassed. You guys are so cute. Who's your favorite on the channel? Jersey. No, oh, you're Jersey. a Jersey fan. That's so cute. I'm so excited to see you guys today. I'm making a new video. You are? Yeah, I am. You guys are going to be in the video. Say hi, Snippers. Hi, Snippers. Yay. Amazing. <laughs> Crab bird. Yay! Yeah. He aired out his wings! <laughs> He's so cute. So the next thing is what we need is screws to put all this, these things together. Guys, 
make sure all your screws and all your pieces are stainless steel. That is a bird safe connection. So that, with all the extra pieces that we needed to get, will probably come up to 160 bucks. Not that cheap. <laughs> okay guys, so that cost us about $146. Not exactly cheap, and there's still gonna be some more overhead costs, and you have to build it. So, what are the other costs? The wood and some more pipe, you said? The PVC pipe, the two inch PVC pipe. <laughs> they were like $3.50 for two pieces. Each of them is like, you know, $3.50. So a total of seven dollars plus the four by four, probably another fifteen bucks. So you're looking at another fifteen bucks plus another seven dollars. Okay. So about twenty. Just tell me the total of this whole thing. About one hundred and seventy dollars. You got yourself a stand. Of course, you could go into a bird store and you could probably buy a stand. A lot of them run two hundred and fifty dollars and upwards. But when you guys ask me about the stands that we have in the house, the stands made by Jungle Toys, you can get them in some bird stores on the West Coast. Those do not ship. So this video is for those of you who do is not bird. see a bird out there. Yeah, you saw a bird flying. This is a solution for those of you who do not have access to buying a really good bird stand. The other benefit of this stand is that Rocky cannot climb down the stand and also that once it's built, the main piece of wood is replaceable and you could just keep replacing that. Where if you have a very large bird and you're looking for like a manzanita stand and he can chew it like Rocky can, he can chew the entire base as well. So that is some pros that, about it. That's what we learned the first time we got him one of those. He yeah. basically went through it in a matter of a month. And manzanita is generally supposed to be a little difficult for them to go through, not but not rocky. rocky. Once you build this though, you could just keep replacing that wood. And then I'll add a tally of all the pieces and everything with the actual cost. And maybe even the time of how long it took me for me to make it. Yeah. So it's not exactly the cheaper solution, but it is a solution for those of it's you who It's not as don't expensive though. I mean, yeah, it. we've spent like I mean, it's it's, 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 it's for a, a type of bird things. like Rocky. That's the major thing here. It's not going to be for a smaller bird. No. You know, so for a type of bird like Rocky, they start at $200. And the things that you buy on Amazon that you have to assemble, they're not exactly as sturdy as what we're making here. You guys can see all those like little things that And it doesn't make a mess. That's another yeah. thing. We made it so that way with, yeah, the, pool, with the pool. Yeah. The mini pool is only available during the summer at Kmart. <laughs> you have to buy it and you need to get Walmart. at least... Was it, oh, sorry, excuse Where me, Where do you ever see a Kmart here? We don't have a Kmart? I, I always mix them up. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. Anyways, Walmart has them. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for part two. That'll be completely dependent on when George actually gets it. Will happen we'll this weekend. We'll see how it happened this weekend. Okay, so if he doesn't have a, a video follow-up, because this weekend, then if there's no follow-up to this, then he didn't do it. There will be. Okay. Okay, and uh, now we need to put him back so we can get drive. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Right, okay. Love you guys so much. Bye, Don't guys. forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Are you saying bye? Okay. Bye. Oscar. Hey, Oscar. By the way, don't forget if you guys are looking for an amazing bird food brand for your bird that is healthy, organic, and not full of food colorings and sugar and peanut smash, check out Marlene's signature blend. I did this along with Topps Parrot Food. I encourage you guys to check out my Feathered Fun Box. It's a passion project. It's a subscription box that comes with parrot toys for your bird and also special merch. Kind of like my dream box. Honestly, I put so much into it. I love that there's something like this for birds out in the world. That's why I created it, www.featheredfunbox.com. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for listening.